Good day, viewers. Welcome to Lens Africa TV 2023 election news cap. I am Shalaidi Olawi. As the first batch of the general election slated for presidential, senatorial, and House of Representatives seats observed February 25, 2023. Lens Africa TV correspondent who went around the nation reported that it was a peaceful exercise in Ondo, Oyo, Osho, Abuja, with voters who threw out en masse to exercise their franchise while violence rocked some areas in Lagos, Kogi, Ogo state. Let's join our correspondent reporting from Oshobo. This is a world trip, and the unit is Unit 1. So far, so good. I think uh, it's peaceful, uh, it's free, it's fair, it's credible. And uh, we earlier educate our people to conduct themselves in the civilization way. And uh, you can see the result. So the election is peaceful. And uh, I, I believe that um, to the end of the exercise, there won't be any rank or argument. Well, as you can see, the turnout is uh, quite impressive and it's been largely peaceful. Uh, people are all out here to exercise their franchise to vote for the candidates of their choice for the presidential, the senatorial and the House of Reps uh, members. So I'm quite satisfied that people turned out and we're happy with the conduct so far. Uh, as of the moment, there is no cause to doubt their integrity or their capability. They've been doing the right thing all along. There's nothing like vote buying in this unit. If you have to compare them, uh, compare this to what we used to have in time past, for example, uh, for all the units that I've visited, election actually started at 8.30 dot which for me is a huge improvement uh, to what you are also, what we tend to have in, in time past. And in terms of neutrality, I think um, all the INEC of, um, officers, the security, have, have been very, very professional in their conduct. And so really, it's, um, it's a plus for our democratic exper experiment. Uh, personally, I want to be objective. I don't foresee any chaotic situation. Because uh, as we speak, uh, money is not buying any vote as we speak. And uh, people want to vote according to their conscience. So if people could vote according to their conscience, I'm very optimistic that there will be no problem. From the situation report in the record local and the adjoining local government, you know, soon in the record here, there's another local and very close to us, Orulu local government, from the report I've received on phone, so far, uh, elections there in the various polling units are going on peacefully. As an eyewitness here, and as you can see, our officials are doing fine. And from what's from the report from other polling units across the local local governments, there is no serious uh, hitch that can cause for any form of concern so far. That is what you can see. This is a free and fair election. It's an election that will reflect the will of the people. It doesn't have anything to do with money or coercion. It's free and fair. There have been no gunshots, no talks, nothing. In fact, I can say this is the best election I've witnessed. I'm just praying that our vote counts. No vote you, can see, you can see that uh, everywhere come. No vote, no, no vote buying. No, you cannot see, you can see the way we all of us we are, we are doing here. Nobody is paying anybody. Our people came out to vote for the people that they want to vote for. So far, so good. It has been peaceful all the way. And we believe that by the end of everything, by the end of the counting, we are going to see a new person that will steer the mantleship of this our great nation for another four years. I am Dari Abola, reporting for Lens Africa TV. Do join us on our social media platforms for the declaration and other updates. Shalide Olawe, Lens Africa News. Lens Africa Television, the mirror of the continent.